children hello welcome to your home school this is your class 7 mathematics right in our last session we have started your new chapter that is fractions and decimals so in this session we are going to continue with this chapter with the second exercise exercise 2.2 so see the colorful figures here so now we need to observe the fraction first then we see the problem what is the problem so now look here this is a whole how many parts it is then 1 2 3 so what is shaded here two parts is shaded so you observe the shaded region and try to say me so how do you write this fraction 2 by 3 whole is how much three parts it is done how many parts it is shaded two parts right so now say me children here this fraction is 2 by 3 then this one 2 by 3 then this one so you can see the line here 1 2 2 by 3 whereas one part is not shaded in all these so how can you say this children there are three such figures that have a fraction 2 by 3 3 Into two by three, I can write. So let us multiply all these three. How can we write this? Three figures. Each fraction is two by three. Okay, let's identify next one. So you can see here two separate figures. In this, each figure is divided into two parts, and in this, one part is shaded. So how can you write this fraction, children? Whole is two. One part is shaded, so it can be written as one by two. Okay. Then here one by two. So how many you have one by two? Two. So two into one by two, I can say. So next coming to third one, you can see here whole four parts. In this four parts, how many parts it is shaded? Only one. How can you write this fraction now? One by four. Observe here. One by four. Observe here. One by four. Right. So how how many figures you have like that? There are three figures, and your fraction is three into one by four. Now observe here. So the circle has a hole, right? How many parts it was there? One, two, three, four, five. Whole is five. Five where you write at the denominator. So how many parts it is shaded? Only one part is shaded. That is one by five. Yes or no? One, two, three, four, five. One part is shaded. One by five. Same manner. One by five. So how many such figures are there? One by five. Two. So two into one by five is your fraction. So now let's try to match for the given question. What is your first main first question? Which of the drawing show the fractions, right? So now two into one by five. There are two figures which shows each a fraction of one by five. Observe, children, where you have two figures. Is this? No. What is the fraction here? One by two. Then where you can get? Yes, there are two circles. Each ratio is one by five, one by five. So this matches this fraction. Yes or no? Two figures. That is each having a fraction one by five. That will be two into one by five. I can say. Now next one, two into one by two. Where you have two figures. And each figure having a fraction one by two. Where you have children, here you go. So just match this one. Okay, third one. Three figures, three into two by three ratio. Where you have two by three here ratio? Yes, two by three, two by three, two by three. There are three circles, each having a fraction. Two by three, yes or no? So if you want, you can write here also, children. By seeing the picture, you can write two by three, two by three. 
So three such figures are there. That is three into two by three. Here you can write it as one by two, one by two. Two such figures are there. Two into one by two. So here one by five. Two such figures are there. Two into one by five. So next coming to your last question here. Three into one by four. So what is this, children? Three figures, each having a fraction of one by four. So let's observe this one only. No, one, two, three figures are there. Whole is four and shaded one, one. How can you write this in the form of fraction? One by four, one by four, one by four. That is three into one by four is this. So shall I ask you one more, children? So let me ask you here one tiny question for you. Yes. So now observe here carefully, children. What am I doing? So now say me the answer. One figure you have, right? So what is a fraction? By the way, how many parts I have done this circle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've done the circle into eight parts. Okay. So what I can do here by eight. How many parts it is shaded? One, two, three, four. Your answer is four by two. Can I say this in one by two? Yes. Equivalent fraction. So if you want, you can cancel. Four ones are four twos are. So observe here, shaded region, not shaded region. I can say that two parts, one part is shaded, and you can write it as one by two. That is like this. You can write. Okay, is this followed? Okay, let's see the second main here, children. Again, similar pattern there. So let's try to observe first these figures. So this is a circle. It is divided into three parts. Whole is made it into three parts, and one part is shaded. So how can you write this fraction? One by three, right? Similarly, this one. One by three. So now is equal to. So what happens here, children? As your first main, how do you write this? Two figures of each having a fraction one by three. That is two into one by three. Two by three is your answer. But now observe this one. So this is as a whole made it into three parts. Okay. So two parts are shaded. How do you write this one? Two by three. How do you do this one, children? There are two figures. Two into one by three. That will be two by three. See this side. R H S is also two by three. So where is that question here? Look here. Two into one by three is equal to two by three. So let's match this picture to this equation. How do you say this one, children? These two figures. How do you multiply now? Two into one by three. So that will be two by three is your answer. So let's see the next one. Write the fraction for this. This triangle is made into four parts, right? In four parts, how many parts are shaded? Three parts are shaded. So how do you write this, children? Three by four. Yes or no? Three parts are shaded. So this one, this one also three by four, three by four. So total, how many are there? These triangles. Three are there. So let me write here. Three into three by four. For numerator, you need to multiply this, children. Three threes are nine by four is your answer. Okay. Let's see that side. What you have is equal to. Look here, children. One, two, three, four. Four by four. That is one. And here, one, two, three, four. Four by four. That will be again one. Observe here. Four by four. Four by four. That will be one. One. Okay. So two figures having one. Two into one will be two. Then what about this triangle? One is shaded. That will be one by four. 
Okay, observe carefully. So now what we have done this 9 by 4 split into mixed fraction. How we are going to get? 4 twos are 8, 1 by 4. 2, 1 by 4 you got or not? So similarly look here. 1, 1, 2 into 1 that will be 2 and side what do you have? 1 by 4. 2 into one more figure what you have 1 by 4 that makes both equal. So once again listen carefully here. Here you have a fraction of 3 by 4, 3 by 4, 3 by 4. If you multiply all these 3 means 3 figures 3 into 3 by 4 will be 9 by 4. 9 by 4 split into mixed fraction 2 1 by 4 you got. Now see the other side what do you have 4 by 4 is 1 4 by 4 is 1 1 so 2 you are having 1 so multiply here 2 into 1 that will be 2 okay and one more figure you have 1 by 4 that also you need to multiply for these right so and one more thing one more mistake you may do 1 into 1 is 1 no 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 not like that how many figures are there? Two figures and what is their fraction? One. Two into one will be two and this will be into one by four you can write. Okay. This is your answer. So where it is compared here children where you have this one? So here. Look here. Three into three by four is equal to two one by four. So let's match this for this row. Right. See the last figure, you can see a box here, box is divided into 5 pieces. In this 5 parts, one part is shaded. So write the fraction here, that will be 1 by 5. Yes, and here 1 by 5, and here 1 by 5. So total 3 are there, 3 into 1 by 5, that will be 3 by 5 is your ratio. Okay. Is equal to. Look here. Same again. One more box you have here. Equal to one more box. In this how many parts it is divided? 5. In this 5, 3 parts are shaded. How can you write this in fraction? 3 by 5. So finally what you can say? 3 by 5 equal to 3 by 5. So let's see where it is. 3 into 1 by 5, 3 into 1 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. So let's match these. Yes, is it easy? So now one thing you need to do now children. Uh, first mean, right? Where is the figure observe and what is the fraction you are writing? Write the fraction, draw the figure below. Same manner all problems continues there. And here also, take first sub-question 3 into 1 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. Identify where you have these figures you need to write below this problem. And again, second problem, these figures. Third problem, these figures. Don't write in notes as a match the following. Right? Like this, you need to identify the pictures given and the fraction. Okay, children, let's see the third main here. Multiply and reduce to lowest form and convert into a mixed fraction. So how to do the multiplication of a fraction you might be knowing right. So once again let's see here how to multiply and how to simplify and then how we convert into mixed fraction. So look here first problem 7 into 3 by 5. When you have like this multiplication if you have only a number. A number means it is also a fraction. How? 7 by 1. How do you multiply this? Numerators to numerators and denominators to denominators. So let's start here children. How do you write this? 7 into 3 by 1 into 5. That will be 7 3 are 21. 1 into 5 will be 5. Okay, can you cancel anything? See here, lowest form means what? If you can cancel, you can simplify. 21, you cannot cancel with 5. 
Now this is which type of a fraction? Numerator is greater than the denominator. Then which type? Yes, it is improper fraction. This improper fraction convert into mixed fraction. How do you convert children? So easy technique I'll say. So if you remember your division. 5, 4, 20. What is the reminder? 1. So observe here. How do you cancel? What do you get your quotient here? 4. So that 4 write it here. Okay. What is the reminder there? That reminder right here. And your divisor right here. That's all. So once again I say, how do you convert this fraction into mixed fraction? Just divide 5, 4, 20. 1 is reminder. So how do you write? Quotient, write in integer place. 4 in integer part. And here in fraction part, you write the reminder in a numerator and divisor in the denominator. So finally, how can you write this problem children? 4, 1 by 5. So let's see the next problem. So nothing there. You can write it as 4 into 1 by 1 into 3. That will be 4 into 1, 4, 1 into 3, 3. Can you cancel? No, we cannot cancel. So now, if you divide what happens? 3 ones are 3 and 1 will be reminder. So now, how do you write this? 1, 1 by 3 is your answer. Again, if you want, you can convert and see 3 into 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 by 3 is your answer. So let's go to the third one. 2 into 6 by 7. You can do directly children. 2 into 6 by 7. That will be 6 twos are 12 by 7. 7 table, what's the nearest multiple here? 7 ones are 7, right? So that one right in integer part and this denominator as it is 7 ones are 7. 12 minus 7 will be how much? 5. That 5 is a reminder, write it here. What is the mixed fraction here? 1, 5 by 7. So, fourth one, 5 into 2 by 9. How do you write this one? 5 twos are 10 by 9. So, convert this into mixed fraction, children. 9 ones are 9 and 1 will be reminder. So, what you are going to write? 1, 1 by 9 is your answer. Fifth one, 2 by 3 into 4. So, say your children, 2 into 4, it will be how much? 8, 8 by 3. So, 2 into 4 by 3. That will be 8 by 3. 8 by 3 convert. 3, 2 is 6. And 8 minus 6 will be 2. 2, 2 by 3 is your answer. And then goes your sixth problem. 5 by 2 into 6. Same manner, only numerator you multiply. If you have any denominator, for denominator you can multiply. So now 5 into 6 by 2. 5, 6 are how much? 30. 30 by 2. So the 30 by 2 you can simplify children. What they have said, lowest form. You can simplify this. How? You can cancel this. 2, 1, sir. 2, 2, 5, sir. 10. That is 15 is your answer. Okay. So see the next problem. 7th. 11 into 4 by 7. So again multiply numerators. 11 into 4 by 7. That will be 11 4 sir, 44 by 7. So how it will be children? What is the nearest multiple for 7? 7, 6, 42. Right? So that 6 in integer part. 44 minus 42 will be 2, 2 by 7. 6, 2 by 7 is your answer. So still how many problems you have here? Still you have 3 problems. Right? These 3 problems you can cancel and you can simplify this. Right? Try to think over and do these 3 problems as homework. Okay, with this we are going to end our session children. Thank you all.